Aaron Rodgers won't be able to persuade Larry Fitzgerald to join the Green Bay Packers. Green Packers Viewers It's time for the NFL community to stop assuming that Larry Fitzgerald will come out of retirement. Another day, another piece debating whether or not to try to re-sign Hall of Fame wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald of the Arizona Cardinals. That very thing should happen, according to a recent piece on Lombardi Ave. Com, one of our sister websites here at Fansided. I'll cut Fitzgerald some slack on that since non-Cardinals fans don't know him, as well as Cardinals supporters too. What matters most is that once Fitzgerald takes a choice, he doesn't budge. Because he took his time to decide whether or not he wanted to participate, he received such brief, one-off contracts so frequently. As someone who has experienced several hearing problems, mentioning that Fitzgerald and Rogers are collaborating to tackle hearing loss worldwide is fantastic. But are you trying to make that Rogers' primary argument for persuading Fitzgerald to come out of retirement? After yet another postseason failure, Rogers was unable to make a decision regarding his own future. It's a waste of time to keep attempting to convince Larry Fitzgerald to come out of retirement. Look, as much as anybody, Cardinals fans want him back in the league. But in my opinion, he ought to have joined a contending team following the 2020 season in order to win a championship, when it made more sense. But outside from the ring, Fitzgerald has accomplished everything. He is a member of the Hall of Fame, the second leading wide receiver in terms of yards in NFL history and he has a plethora of other records and honors. Fitzgerald won't settle for anything less than being a cornerstone of the offense, which is another factor. Fitzgerald won't like the idea of joining a team for the sole purpose of being there and winning a championship, much like Vernon Davis did with the Denver Broncos in 2015. Fitzgerald wasn't helped much by Kyler Murray, and there are whispers that Fitzgerald didn't enjoy the Murray selection. Fitzgerald disputed it, but it can't be dismissed either. The Packers don't have any wide receivers, so Fitzgerald could play a bigger role than most people in their late 30s would. In just two seasons, Murray only completed about 1,200 yards and four touchdown passes to Fitzgerald. There were several more quarterbacks who made sure to get Murray the ball despite their inferior skill levels. Fitzgerald is an independent thinker, and he makes his own judgments. He has always maintained that. Please don't continue with this advice. Green Packers Viewers